Hi guys, welcome to the final part. And today basically mostly what we're going to do is just some rendering of the car and now we're gonna stitch all the windows together. So let's get started. Okay, so let's uh, stitch everything together. So for that we just going here, we are in solid. So we just go to surface mode and then we choose stitch. And to select all, I have to select, I click hold and from right to left i just select the whole model so fusion selects and the green lines shows us that there will be stitches where the green lines are so let's make it 0.8 inches something like that and i click ok so now we have stitched body it has changed the color because we had windows one color, then something was another color. Now let's apply some fillets because let's say right here the edges are very sharp. So from modify I choose fillet and then I just choose the windows. Let's try to make it 0.1 inch. Then I click plus and I go to the next window. 0.1. And I continue like that with all the windows, so I'll speed up this process. And then I just click OK. So now we have these kind of smooth edges around our car. OK, so now let's prepare this car, let's say for 3D printing. Yeah, so we stitched everything. Now we have this one big body that's stitched all together. So for 3D printing, let's remove the wheels. I mean, let's hide them. Let's hide all the signs, all the bodies that are not related to the car and like this. Okay, so as you can see, we have a car, but there are two holes. So in the patch mode, uh, surface mode, we just create a patch and we choose those edges I click OK then I choose one more time patch make one more patch so now basically our model closed everywhere so there are no holes that something could leak <laughs> let's go let's call it that way okay so we have this body and in order to make it like a solid for 3d printer without any details inside so we just choose boundary fill and I choose this car sorry I choose cancel we forgot to stitch yeah because those are two kind of different bodies so for that we need to stitch this body with this one and right over here then I click OK OK now this is one big solid body so as I said before create boundary fill this body Okay, when it turns green and there is like a check mark in whatever part, that means it is boundary fillable. <laughs> so then select cells and I choose this cell. Need to give computer a little bit time to think. Okay. And pretty much compute is finished and we have our 3D printable model. So if you take a section analysis, I think I had here already, yeah, yeah. So as you can see in section analysis, this is one solid body which, which is pretty much good for 3D printing. So of course, we will have to return back all our bodies. Uh, this one, no. And then, let's return the Shelby sign and Shelby in the front. And then we just need to go to solid and here we can choose combine and let's say target body will be this one and we're going to join all the other parts that has to be combi combined let's say mirrors headlights and then the exhaust we join this shelby sign okay let's join this one also i click ok so now we have uh, let's hide this body oh we forgot to join our lamps also at the back so combine this body and these two lamps okay then right now you can design anything what you want basically in order to make the wheels um you can make here some kind of clamps 
or here, you know, that hold the road that goes through the whole body and then hold two wheels. Uh, I leave it to you guys because these tutorials are really going way too long. So right now, basically, this is what we have in order to print. Okay, so this is printable. I 3D printed already a couple of them and now on my printer it's printing one a little bit bigger one. Of course, the mirrors a little bit too skinny for 3D printers, so I made them a little bit more fat and so on and so on and so on. But it is 3D printable, all the windows you can see on 3D printer, everything is there. So now I'm pressing Command Z until we go back to our um, step where we stitch just all the parts together. Pretty much one of the first steps of this video, so I press Command Z. So this is pretty much it. Let's make this model like a paintable. By the way, if you thinking why my color doesn't have the face lines, you just press um, on the Mac, it's Control 4, it's to get rid of them, and then Control 5 or 6, it's to show the actual lines of the um, faces. So that's what we have. Okay, let's paint the car. So for that, we will have to split the faces and uh, I wanna make a, like a white line in the middle. So for that, we're going to the surface and we need to create sketch on this plane. And from create drop down menu, I choose center rectangle. And how wide would be the li line? Uh, let's say like this big, finish sketch. And then from modify, we choose split body. So this body and then the splitting tool will be this one. Okay, so now basically we are ready to paint the car the way we want it. Okay, so let's go to a Rentner. And let's start kind of painting our car. So appearance. Let's say I want it to be blue with metal flake. I just drag and drop. Let's remove. Then on the other side. And then I want it to have like a white line in the middle. So let's choose where is the white line. Paint, metal flake, and paint, metal flake, silver. They don't have white, so let's use silver. Okay, now that's what we have. And then let's get our windows back to glasses. So now I'm switching to faces right here, and I'm dropping glass on the glass. Okay, now with the front, we will have to choose, I think it was metal, aluminum, and here is, uh, I think this aluminum mesh expanded thick, and I just drop it like, like, like there where would be this grill, let's call it that way. So there is our grill, let's make one more grill here underneath. Okay, this is our grill, now let's see at the back. So we need to hide this body and we need to hide this body and then we will have to put our LED lights at the back. Right here, right here. So that's going to be our LED lights. Let's drop some paint over here. Actually better to switch on the bodies. Just like that. So basically we can paint this one also white so that it won't be so like uh, super visible unless you really want it you can leave it. Okay so we have all the colors now preferably of course to cut the lines for the motor and uh, let's say a trunk and the doors. I can tell you guys how to do that but I'm not going to do that because it's like another 30 minutes lesson but I will show you approximately how I would do this. So I'll just go to design, I'll switch on the canvases and then basically you need to create sketch. You have to repeat all the lines and it has to be 3D sketch and then you will switch on the other side and you will just drag the lines according to where they're supposed to be from this side and from the top side. And then when you finish with your sketch, you will have to do a sweep. A sweep, you will choose the sketch, the one you made in order to make these lines and you will sweep, let's say, across the sketches. Okay, let's return to the render. So basically, we have a 3D printed model, we have a rendering model, 
and I think we can call it final part of this video. Otherwise, you know, you can keep continue making and making and making. I mean, making it beautiful and more beautiful and more beautiful. So basically from this kind of sketches, we get to the um, this kind of model. Okay, guys. Ah, oh, by the way, here better to paint black. Otherwise, it will be a reflections on the ground if you're gonna make it like a mirror. So I'll go just appearance, metal flake black or just put rubber, you know, apply to faces, of course. And let's put rubber because rubber doesn't have any glossiness in it. And we're just going to do like that. Simple. So that's it. That's Ford Mustang. And uh, stay tuned with, the, I'm going to do some rendering pictures now. And then I'm going to put it pretty much right now. So you can see the final render of the car. I'm going to set up the environment. Uh, let's say this field. And then in settings, I will choose environment mode. Then, of course, I will have to make the car look like... You see, like, here, reflections. I don't need them. Let's just see in canvas rendering how approximately this will look like. So, you see, it looks quite good. Like a real car. Okay, guys, so stay tuned for the rendering pictures. And uh, I'll see you in our next video.